So the first thing you want to do before booking your tickets or anything like that is to make sure that you're COVID negative. Make sure you're COVID negative because if you're one of those people that have been partying all through lockdown, all through this whole time, going to places, going out to eat and all of that, then you're going to waste your time, energy, and money. So the first thing you want to do is go to the website, and I'm going to put the website on the screen, and it says travel authorization, and then you're going to click on the website. It has a calculator for when is the earliest date you can take your COVID-19 test that they will accept, and they will only accept a COVID-19 test, that's 10 days before the date you're supposed to get on the plane. So for example, you're traveling March 20th of 2021. The earliest date you can take your COVID-19 test that Jamaica will accept is March 11th, 2021. So make sure you go on there and calculate when is the earliest date you can take your test. Then you're going to go to that place where it says get your travel authorization. It says do you live in Jamaica, yes or no. Then you're going to put in your email. You're going to check the box at the bottom scroll all the way down they're going to send you a one-time password and the one-time password is time sensitive so you have to do this immediately they send you the one-time password you go to your email you grab the one-time password come back to the page and put in your one-time password Okay. Once you put in the one time password, which is this is the one that they gave me 36660, you put in a one time password, it's going to give you a whole bunch of information that you need to fill out. Please make sure you fill it out properly. They're also going to ask you who you're traveling with and do not do like me, even your minor. Even a baby that's still sucking breast, still on the bottle, five months old, is going to need a travel authorization for themselves. You have to fill one out for the minor, for the child. Every person that's traveling need a travel authorization. I actually did not know this because they have a place on there where you add everybody that's coming with you or on the same flight with the same book, the same time and all of that. And I was told at the airport that every single person need a travel authorization. But big up to Jamaica because they got our authorization to us literally in about five minutes. And we were able to book our flight and shout out for, to American Airlines because we missed our 11 o'clock flight and we were able to get on a 1 o'clock flight. So shout out to them. Even coming back, we had a great experience. And this is the approval letter that they sent us. The approval certificate for you to enter, which is your travel authorization to enter Jamaica, is at the bottom of this email. So you're either going to print it out and bring it with you, or you can show it to the person that is going to check you in. So they have somebody standing in the checkout line at the front, and you have to show them your travel authorization for every single person, even the minor that's coming with you so that is how you get your travel authorization and that is how you get your COVID test done when you do your COVID test please make sure that you have a credible place that is doing your COVID testing okay and the people that there actually know what they're doing so let's get into the rest of the video I hope I explained that good enough for you guys. So yeah. Pretty much. Thank you. Come, come, Papa. You too. <sighs> so.
So when you're boarding the plane, you have to have a mask on. Oh, it can't have a valve. And it can't have a valve. I'm blocking her blocking. I wish for we're supposed to. I hold this egg on. Okay. They are uh, lock the, the port to come into the terminal. It's really serious. It's serious. Okay. No, no, it's really serious. You know the funny thing is, how come the kids don't have no mask on, but adults have masks on? No, the kids are going to see them too. This is all the. Oh, we can see them still. I'll get you guys through the process with the travel authorization and COVID testing and all of that. Later. They have issued new orders regarding wearing a mask in our airports on board our aircraft. Federal law requires each person age two and older wear a mask. Yeah. Covers their nose and mouth at all times during the flight, including boarding, the planning, refusing to wear a mask. Potentially it's a violation of federal law and may result in denial of boarding removal from the aircraft and or financial penalties. Thanks for listening to that. And uh, if you have any questions, your flight attendant can help you with it. Which for Kai Master? So if you've never been to Jamaica before, you know that you have to fill out a decoration paper. So if you're bringing in food or any food items into Jamaica, you have to declare it, cigarettes, all of that. You have to fill out this paper and hand it to customs and immigration when you enter Jamaica so that everything that you're traveling with is accounted for and you're protected. So we are actually... It's 4 30. the alarm is going off that means this is the time where milani and kai would actually get up from their nap but when you land in jamaica you go through immigration first then take your, your passport and stuff find out where you stay all of that then you go in you go to a next station where there are jdf officers they take your passport again write on your passport number where you're gonna stay and a local phone number for you and then you go into another stop the third and final stop and then take your passport again find out where you stay again and all of that so them thing under lock and key one thing i must say though is the airport is super duper clean they have sanitation portion por ports or portals they have hand sanitizer everywhere the bathroom them sparkly clean and nice um and they have their social distancing stuff also in the airport which i appreciate um as you guys can see my eye i'll talk about my eye in another whole different vlog video but yeah my eye messed up sake me put on false eyelash with me jumpy self but yeah i will go through the whole travel authorization process and all of that when we were coming here we actually missed our flight because of the travel authorization process because i thought you only need one travel authorization uh, for everybody because i'm traveling with me two children plus hub hubby and i only thought that i needed one and it would cover everybody but no you need a travel authorization for every single person even minors and they did not make that clear on the website that's the only thing that really got us but i'll go through the travel authorization part um in the video i'm probably gonna put it before this so yeah babe went to go get um he went to go get our phone situated because we already have a jamaican phone so he went to digicel to get a new chip and put some minutes on there and then we can get out of here and find our way to our hotel needless to say it's been a long trip it's very hard it was a lot traveling with two kids but we got through it and we're here and the vibes nice and right so i'll see you in the next clip deuces i couldn't walk out there all right i'm I used to walk out there nina i used to walk out there all the time so. i walk yes 
So this is Lucy right here. I'm gonna see your vlogging skills if you actually got good footage. Mm. All right, what else look like? Hi. Oh, I miss school day. Back on. I wanna take that front side. Can I put something in the remote and show for it? Hi. 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 If I stay, if I stay, here, yeah. yeah. uh, here. I'll be paying your money for you today. Come to the dummy here. I don't think shit like this is sustainable. Uh, so, right, huh? Is Rossi's High School. This is my school and Siki used to stand up out the door and lay away to when we lit. Up on the next side of the day you can see the beach and we used to see the dolphin them all the time. Over the side football field. If you know anything about Rossi's you know that we dominate football. Uh-huh. See it over here so yeah. And over par parish office. So yeah. They build up up here. People they build a house and same thing. Yeah, so when me come to school, yeah, so not a thing there, nice, boy. So nice. Not, eh, not a thing more than bush bush. Used to there, yeah, so. Then put parish court, yes, yeah, so too. Wow. Yeah, they definitely look different. Which part of my school and stuff located don't look different. Uh, Lucy Town look different, but up here, so definitely look different with the heap of house, house, them, and the same thing. But then they build alongside the roadway. All that, they know that they never did when me go to school. Yeah? Uh -huh. None of this never did it. So we're officially in the grill. We have 20 minutes until we reach our hotel. Babe stopped to get us something to eat because it's after six, almost seven, and eight o'clock a curfew. So we're getting what we need out here, and then tomorrow we'll go see family and all of that. So that's that. Yo. So this is our humble abode for the next few days. Shakrila or Shah Shankrila Cottage. Shankrila. Have a full table. There is actually a bed right there, so and a chair. You have a full fridge, a full kitchen. Look there, look there. Talk about it, no? We have one guest bed, so if somebody come out and stay. A guest bed. Look at that. We're going to be a room now. So they will be sharing a room with Kai. And this is his room. Mm, mm, mm. So I look from this. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, me like it, me like it. And then this is your closet. Oh my God. 
I, I can't turn off the light. Your lovely son. We have one guest bed, babe. And then not even see the porch yet. Y'all didn't see the front porch. Drive up to the door. Baby's working hard. He's bringing in all the stuff. Here is the porch. Look at the porch, darling. Look at the porch. Enclosed porch with a net. You can sit out here at night and enjoy. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. So this is how outside looks early in the morning. X Y. X Y. One thing I like about here. Oh, you turn on the light, you know. So do. I think I. Kai. Leave the light. Yeah, try to use the light. So this is how in here looks during the day. One thing I love is that they come in here clean in here every single day. Unlike when we stay in the Airbnb, we have to make sure we clean up off of ourselves. It's nice to come home to the beds made and all these things. Okay. So this is the master, Milani's crib, nice wooden furniture, you know, the crib is nice, and it's a split floor plan. Full fridge, full sink, you get your plate and us, all of that cup, fork, knife, everything for cook, microwave, stove, and also with gas stove, if you're taking kids here, you have to be careful because Kai turned on the stove one of the nights that we were in here. Turn on the gas stove. I literally woke up out of my sleep because I was like, in here smells weird. And in here smells like gas. So I had to wake up there and tell him something smell like gas. And he it, the stove was definitely on. That's how people die. By leaving on gas stove. And as you can see, our towels are well folded and ready to go. Clean bathroom. Everything clean. Say hi, Mama. Say hi. <laughs> Alright, so. What are you Great. Go put on your remote then. Go put down the remote, Sky. Okay. It's the scenery for me. Drew water if I care around or the Mommy. Yes, Papa. So this is the bar and eating area. It's super dope in here. Okay. 
there's a table. They have high chairs for kids, artwork, and that is the stairs up to the pool area. Obviously, that's the bar. And this is the bathrooms. Bathroom is super clean. You have sanitizer. And you definitely have to wear a mask. So, yeah. In case you're wondering. They have a lounge area. And that's the bar over there. And here's another entrance. And you can park your car. So that's the gate to go over the next side. And there's Babe and the kids. 